This is a medium sized dock of home. It's got an oak surface here. It's got bancos on the side. Birch surface. Sound hole. Now this one is about, just the box itself is about 16 and a half inches or about 42 centimeters. Um, heavy duty rubber feet add about three quarters of an inch. So that puts you up about 44 centimeters, 17 and a quarter inches off the floor. This one is number 42 in the series. So if you like this one, if I still have it, uh, you might be able to get this exact one or that'll reference me so that I can uh, make sure you get one that's as close to it as possible because every one is a little bit different. Now the construction of most of it is uh, Baltic birch. Now that's a strong lightweight plywood where every ply is made of birch. The oak surface is an eighth inch thick. It has one layer of oak that's backed by two layers of mahogany. Uh, and what that gives you is a kind of a warmer, fatter bass sound. Whereas the birch on the other side, which is an eighth inch thick also, but three plies of birch, the birch gives you a brighter, punchier kind of sound. And the one thing that these are built with the, the surfaces are, are actually more like a drum head than what you typically think of as a cajon striking surface. So that uh, it really responds, it's very sensitive to, uh, to the lightest touch and there's a pocket here that divides the head up in a non-symmetrical kind of way and it gives areas where this surface is more and less floppy it makes these distinctly different notes that have a sustaining bass like that, but these do. side. This offset makes it uh, nice if you've got them on the right side. I play a lot in that rocking motion. Really everywhere you hit it or actually touch it because I like to say that you touch a drum, you don't hit a drum. That light touch enables you to find all these tone zones and sweet spots. So when it's time to get loud, you're more efficient and don't have to work as hard to be loud. Now build snare into these. That's another thing I do with these. You can kind of manipulate that sound hole and change the pitch of the bass note. That snare, I know a lot of cajones, the snare is part of that cajon sound. Myself, the way I build these, I almost never use the snare because I like the wood tone so much. But the snare in these is engaged and it's as simple as just making that little move right there. Now that's not distortion you hear, that's that raspy, growly edge that snare puts on the sound. Now these are built more like uh, a fine piece of cabinet work than 
what you're used to seeing a cajon build quality. But these things take some serious pounding and last a long time. If you like it, give me a message. Thank you.